Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest, and we did get a brand new developer's notice uh, talking about the new PvP mode that's going to be coming as soon as next week. Uh, we also talked about asteroid changes, which are going to be implemented, which I'm not the most excited about. Um, so let's go ahead and dig in. <laughs> So the most exciting part of this news is the fact that Temple Team Arena is going to be launching next week, starting Thursday and Saturday. Uh, and then when the Lava Valley schedule changes uh, and the Temple, um, the Team Temple Arena, oh my God, changes, uh, the schedule is going to change as well. So it's going to become uh, Tuesdays and Saturdays, and then Lava Valley is going to be Thursday and Sunday. So. What is this content? Uh, it's been teased a little bit to us already. Uh, it is going to be five versus five, and it's going to have both PvP and PvE elements. Uh, a lot of people have likened it a little bit to League of Legends, but I think it's going to be a little bit more based on a point system, it sounds like. Uh, and it's going to be about gaining points, and it's going to be either, you know, gaining a certain amount of points to victory, or it's going to be like a timed match where you have to get you know, the team with the highest points wins. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, we haven't actually seen this in person yet because this is going to be a global exclusive. Uh, team Temple Arena is global first, essentially. Uh, so it is launching on the global servers first. A uh, couple of questions I have about this just right off the bat. Uh, how long is it going to be? Uh, how long are each matches going to be? Uh, I'm really curious if it's one of those situations where you know, you're going to match up and, you know, Lava Valley, Lava Valley has matches that end like in less than two minutes. Right. And I think that bite size of Lava Valley uh, is really important to kind of feeding that like, you know, you lost, but it's OK. You might win the next one. Right. Now, I'm wondering if Temple Team Arena might be a little bit longer. I think if it's longer, that's going to be a drawback because if you already know you're going to lose, because there's a lot of times in PvP and Nino Kuni where you know you're going to lose, are you just going to have to like sit there for five minutes and let the opponent kill you as fast as possible? There's kind of questions I have um, about all of this, and they do talk about the rewards and they talk about kind of what the game elements are, but I just really want to see the gameplay. I want to see what it's like, what, you know, how much of it is PVE, how much of it is PVP, and how much of it is your opponent is cursed higher than you and you're going to die. Um, I also want to see the matchmaking. I really want to see, you know, I love that they're bringing out a new you know pvp mode a five versus five pvp mode but they still haven't fixed fixed the matchmaking in lava valley and to me that's a problem like if you're not gonna fix the matchmaking and you're launching temple team arena with the same matchmaking you're going to run into the same problems uh granted i'm not sure how useful a 200k angi is going to be because there's going to be both pve and pvp elements uh, but we'll have to wait and see uh, they did talk about some adjustments to Lava Valley, and this was a little frustrating to me. Uh, I I understand why they're adjusting it, but to me, they need to adjust the Asterite and Honor Metal rewards as a whole um, for the top percentage or for the top players, because so many players are not getting Asterite rewards because so many people are not participating that there's not like a top 3%. There's not a top 1%, right? So they're making the case here that they are reducing the Asterite and Honor Metal rewards uh, by a solid 25%, right? Um, it says, you know, they're going to decrease it by 25% and that's to balance it. Um, as they put it, it can create inflation that could damage the game balance and economy. And I think that's really interesting because inflation is already happening by the fact that there's so much Asterite the players aren't getting because their Asterite distribution in the rankings for Lava Valley, particularly on global on the NA side, uh, is so jacked up, right? Like there's already Asterite not going out to players right like it's already extremely um distributed in a very poor way so 
to me, there's already tons of players not getting Asterite, right? That should probably, or that they had intended to be getting Asterite. And then the players that are getting Asterite now, they're reducing that by 25%. So I just find that like frustrating, a little bit amusing. And also it just seems like they don't have an understanding of how their ranking system is working right now. Uh, it, it just seems like they don't understand. Um, <laughs> similarly, they are going to be releasing Asterite in uh, Temple Team Arena. And of course, the reason they're decreasing the Asterite in Lava Valley is because of course, Asterite rewards are going to be in Temple Team Arena. And it's it, it's interesting that they make the case of decreasing Asterite because of inflation. And then they don't make a case for the honor medals. They like <laughs> there's a whole <laughs> there's a whole section here where it's like, yeah, we're not really gonna give a reason on what <laughs> we're not gonna be giving a reason like why we're getting rid of the honor medals or why we're decreasing the honor medals. We're just gonna do it because you know <laughs> there's gonna be more in the game, which to me doesn't make sense like that's not you know why not just add more honor metal items you can purchase right uh, i feel like whenever you are doing a live service model for a game and you are taking away instead of adding you know very similar to uh, how yoshi p has talked about for final fantasy 14 you know whenever you make changes it always has to be an addition or a modifier because you don't want to take away from the experience right so the moment you start taking away rewards that is a problem when you are running a live service model game so looking at the asteroid and the honor medals like i'm excited for temple team arena but then i just look at like oh yeah they're gonna change asteroid and the honor metal rewards and i get it's not a big deal right like it, it's still gonna have 75 percent of its original value like it's still gonna be there but like you're still taking away from the player you're still not solving the lava valley issues that are the biggest problem which are the matchmaking and which are going to be the actual rankings which asteroid is distributed in because players are already not getting asteroid that you had planned for them to get asteroid so it just to me is a little frustrating to see them uh making this change and they they like asteroid you know they kind of make the case for it right because they're saying inflation could damage the game balance and economy i don't think adjusting the honor medals is going to adjust the game balance and the economy like i just i, I don't don't fully understand it uh anyway everybody uh thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are excited for this i know uh giant and myself are excited to try this out uh for those of you that don't know giant does a lot of pvp with me um i am a little bit cautious as usual uh with this coming out uh we'll probably be a little bit delayed in our reaction to this because we are going to be in vietnam when this rolls out so uh, make sure to look forward to our video of us experiencing this, uh, and I will catch you guys later, and let me know what you think down in the comments down below.